Being Prime Minister during a pandemic is a painful task. For Yoshihide Suga, it's a pain he won't withstand much longer. I have decided not to run in the party leadership elections. While thinking about running and thinking about COVID-19 measures, doing both takes enormous energy. I have decided that I should choose one, so I want to dedicate myself to prevent the spread of this infection. Later this month, his governing Liberal Democratic Party will hold a leadership ballot. But rather than push to lead the LDP into national elections later in the year, Mr Suga has paved the way for a new figurehead. Honestly, I'm surprised. It's a remark on the leadership election, so I think he thoroughly thought about it before making his decision. The son of a strawberry farmer, Mr Suga was appointed Prime Minister after his predecessor, Shinzo Abe, resigned due to poor health. A blue blood from a political dynasty making way for a clear communicator with humble roots. After initially enjoying approval ratings as high as 70%, a rocky vaccine rollout and several states of emergency that did little to stop the Delta variant proved costly. His insistence on hosting a postponed Tokyo Olympics as COVID numbers worsened was also hugely unpopular. But analysts believe that view may change with time. If you look at the infection rates of anybody that was associated with the Olympics, it was 0.002%. The Olympics were an outstanding sporting event. Um, and I think that it garnered support of the Japanese. But again, I think the continual uh, state of emergencies, I don't think they've been communicated as well as they could have been. Japanese shares have spiked, a leadership change likely to boost the chances of an economic stimulus package. Former Foreign Affairs and Defence Minister Taro Kono has already made his leadership ambitions known, but many are tipping former LDP policy chief Fumio Kishida as the most likely victor. Manny Tsigas, ABC News.